Hello everyone, I'm Thomas Harasu, your trusted business coach. Today, we are about to embark on an insightful journey into the world of organizational management structures. It's an exciting topic, and I guarantee you'll walk away with a better understanding of it. Now, let's dive in. 1. Understanding the basics of organizational management structure. First off, we need to grasp what an organizational management structure is. It's essentially the hierarchy or the framework that outlines specific responsibilities and roles within an organization. It's about who reports to who, who does what, and how communication flows within your organization. Understanding this is crucial as it forms the backbone of your business operations. 2. The importance of a solid management structure in an organization. Having a solid management structure is not just about organization. It's about efficiency, communication, and productivity. It can be the difference between a thriving business and one that's struggling. With a clear structure, everyone knows their role and responsibilities, which reduces confusion and increases effectiveness. 3. Different types of organizational management structures. There are several types of management structures, each with its own merits and demerits. These include the traditional hierarchical structure, flat structure, matrix structure, and divisional structure. It's essential to understand each one to identify the best fit for your organization. 4. Evaluating the traditional hierarchical management structure. The traditional hierarchical structure is like a pyramid with the CEO at the top, followed by other senior executives, middle managers, and employees. While it provides clear authority lines, it can sometimes lead to communication barriers and reduced flexibility. 5. The impact of flat management structure in modern corporations. In contrast, the flat management structure promotes a more egalitarian approach where there are fewer management layers, leading to quicker decision-making and increased employee engagement. However, it can sometimes lead to lack of clear authority and direction. 6. Key elements to consider when designing a management structure. When designing a management structure, consider factors like your company's size, goals, culture, and industry. It should also be flexible enough to adapt to changes in the business environment. 7. The role of departmentalization in organizational management structures. Departmentalization is a key aspect of organizational structures. It involves dividing an organization into different departments, which each focus on specific tasks. This can improve operational efficiency but also requires good interdepartmental communication. 8. How decentralization influences the effectiveness of a management structure. Decentralization, which involves delegating decision-making authority to lower levels, can increase responsiveness and creativity. However, it requires a culture of trust and accountability. 9. The link between an organization's culture and its management structure. Culture is often mirrored in the management structure. For instance, a company with a culture that values teamwork and collaboration is likely to have a flatter management structure, with less hierarchy and more emphasis on team-led decision-making. On the flip side, Management structure can also shape an organization's culture. By defining roles, reporting lines, and decision-making processes, management structure sets the tone for how things are done in the organization. Understanding the relationship between an organization's culture and its management structure is essential. A strong alignment between the two can contribute to enhanced organizational performance and employee satisfaction. 10. Case Studies – Successful Implementation of Organizational Management Structures One of the most well-known companies to adopt a flat management structure is Google. The tech giant has long believed in empowering its employees by giving them more decision-making authority. This has fostered an environment of innovation and creativity, as employees are encouraged to think outside the box and take ownership of their project. Another prime example would be General Motors, a well-established player in the automotive industry. GM uses a matrix structure, 
combining elements of both functional and divisional structures. This allows for efficient use of resources, better communication across departments, and increased flexibility in decision making. We've covered a lot today, and I hope you found this deep dive into organizational management structures insightful. Remember, the right structure can significantly enhance your business operations. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more enlightening content. This is Thomas Harasu, your business coach, signing off.